Welcome back to Zen Zone Health, your go-to for reliable and easy to understand health information. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for your well-being, blood sugar. You see, maintaining healthy blood sugar levels is non-negotiable for a vibrant and energetic life. High blood sugar, if left unchecked, can pave the way for some serious health concerns, including diabetes. And trust me, as someone who's dedicated their life to healthcare, diabetes is not something you want to mess with. The numbers are alarming, guys. In 2016 alone, over 1.6 million people worldwide lost their lives to diabetes. That's a staggering statistic. And what's even more concerning is that the number of people struggling with high blood glucose is on the rise. But hey, don't hit that panic button just yet. Knowledge is power and that's why I'm here today. Have you ever noticed a strange, almost sweet smell on your breath like overripe fruit? This could be a red flag for high blood sugar. It's called diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA. DKA occurs when your body lacks insulin to use glucose for energy. Your body breaks down fat, producing ketones. These ketones build up and exit through your breath. That's the fruity smell. Don't ignore it. DKA can cause shortness of breath, confusion, and infections. If you notice these symptoms, contact your doctor immediately. Early detection and treatment are crucial. We all get thirsty from time to time, especially after a strenuous workout or on a hot day. But what if you're constantly reaching for that water bottle, and no matter how much you drink, your thirst just doesn't seem to quit? This insatiable thirst could be your body's way of sounding the alarm about high blood sugar. Here's the science behind it. When your blood sugar levels are consistently high, your kidneys, those amazing little filters in your body, go into overdrive. They're working overtime to flush out the excess glucose through your urine. And guess what? This frequent urination leads to dehydration, which in turn triggers that never-ending thirst. It's a vicious cycle, my friends. You drink water to quench your thirst, but because your kidneys are working overtime, you end up urinating more frequently and losing even more fluids. So, if you find yourself guzzling water like it's going out of style, and you're still feeling parched, it's time to pay attention. Your body might be trying to tell you something's up with your blood sugar. We all experience fatigue from time to time, those days when you just can't seem to drag yourself out of bed. But if you're constantly feeling drained, like your battery is perpetually stuck on low, even after a good night's sleep, high blood sugar could be the culprit. Think of it this way. Glucose is like the fuel that powers your body. But when your blood sugar is high, your body struggles to use that glucose effectively. It's like trying to run a car on the wrong type of fuel. It just doesn't work efficiently. As a result, your cells don't get the energy they need and you're left feeling sluggish and exhausted. And to make matters worse, remember that dehydration we talked about earlier? Yeah, that also contributes to fatigue, making you feel even more tired and worn out. So if you're constantly hitting that afternoon slump, even after a good night's rest and you're just feeling drained all the time, don't brush it off as just being tired. It's worth getting your blood sugar checked just to rule out any potential issues. Chapter 4. Nausea. More than just an upset stomach. Nausea. That queasy feeling in your stomach that can make you feel like you're about to lose your lunch is never pleasant. While it can be caused by a variety of factors, from food poisoning to motion sickness, persistent nausea, especially when accompanied by other symptoms, could be a sign of high blood sugar. High glucose levels can wreak havoc on your digestive system, disrupting the normal process of digestion and leading to that dreaded nauseous feeling. And in some cases, high blood sugar can even lead to vomiting and disorientation, making it difficult to think straight. Now, it's important to note that nausea can also be a side effect of certain medications, especially if they're taken on an empty stomach. So if you're taking any medications and you're experiencing frequent nausea, talk to your doctor. They might be able to adjust your dosage or recommend taking your medication with food to alleviate the nausea. But remember, if the nausea is persistent, severe, or accompanied by other symptoms like vomiting, confusion, or blurred vision, don't wait. Seek medical attention immediately. Blurred vision, when high blood sugar affects your sight. Our eyes are precious. Any changes in vision should never be ignored. Blurred vision can be disorienting and concerning. Persistent blurred vision could be a sign of high blood sugar. High glucose levels can damage the blood vessels in your retina. This can lead to diabetic retinopathy, causing blurred vision and floaters. 
diabetic retinopathy can progress quickly if untreated. If you experience sudden changes in vision, schedule an appointment immediately. Chapter 6. Dry Mouth. More than just a thirsty mouth. We've all experienced dry mouth at some point, that parched, sticky feeling that makes it hard to swallow. It's usually temporary and easily remedied with a glass of water. But did you know that persistent dry mouth could be a sign of high blood sugar? Remember how we talked about high blood sugar leading to frequent urination and dehydration? Well, that dehydration can also affect your saliva production. Saliva is essential for maintaining oral health. It helps to lubricate your mouth, neutralize acids, and wash away food particles. But when your blood sugar is high, your body conserves fluids and saliva production takes a hit. This can lead to that uncomfortable dry mouth feeling. And to make matters worse, a dry mouth is a breeding ground for bacteria, which can increase your risk of oral infections like thrush. So if you're constantly reaching for that water bottle, but your mouth still feels like the Sahara Desert, it's worth paying attention. Your body might be trying to tell you something's up with your blood sugar. Chapter 7, Stomach Pain, When High Blood Sugar Affects Your Gut. Our stomachs are incredibly complex organs, responsible for breaking down the food we eat and absorbing nutrients. But when our blood sugar levels are out of whack, it can throw our entire digestive system out of balance, leading to a whole host of uncomfortable symptoms, including stomach pain. High blood sugar can affect the nerves and muscles in your gastrointestinal tract, slowing down digestion and leading to bloating, constipation, and even diarrhea. And if that wasn't enough, high blood sugar can also make you more susceptible to gastroparesis, a condition that affects the muscles in your stomach, making it difficult for your stomach to empty properly. This can lead to nausea, vomiting, and that feeling of fullness even after eating just a small amount of food. And in some cases, high blood sugar can cause severe abdominal pain, which can be mistaken for other conditions like appendicitis or pancreatitis. So, if you're experiencing frequent or persistent stomach pain, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms like bloating, constipation, diarrhea, or vomiting, don't ignore it. It's essential to seek medical attention to rule out any serious underlying conditions. Chapter 8. Shortness of breath, a sign of danger. Taking a deep breath should be effortless, but when you're struggling to catch your breath, it can be terrifying. Shortness of breath can be caused by asthma or anxiety, but sudden shortness of breath could be a sign of high blood sugar. Remember diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA? Shortness of breath is a hallmark symptom of this serious complication. Without enough insulin, your body breaks down fat, producing ketones. These ketones make your bloodstream more acidic. This can lead to rapid or labored breathing. If you experience sudden shortness of breath with symptoms like fruity smelling breath, confusion, or nausea, Seek emergency medical attention immediately. Chapter 9. Rapid Heartbeat. When high blood sugar affects your heart. Our hearts are amazing organs, tirelessly pumping blood throughout our bodies, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell. But when our blood sugar levels are consistently high, it can put a tremendous strain on our hearts, increasing our risk of developing serious cardiovascular problems. High blood sugar can damage the lining of our blood vessels, making it easier for plaque to build up. This plaque buildup can narrow our arteries, restricting blood flow and increasing our risk of heart attack and stroke. And to make matters worse, high blood sugar can also affect our heart rhythm, leading to palpitations or a rapid heartbeat. Studies have shown that people with diabetes are two to four times more likely to develop heart disease than those without diabetes. In fact, heart disease is the leading cause of death among people with diabetes. So, if you're experiencing a rapid heartbeat, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, or dizziness, don't ignore it. Seek medical attention immediately. Early detection and treatment are crucial for preventing serious complications. As we've learned today, high blood sugar can manifest in a wide range of symptoms that affect virtually every system in your body. From that unquenchable thirst to unexpected fatigue and even vision changes, these warning signs should never be ignored. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. If you experience any of the symptoms we've discussed, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. They can order a simple blood test to check your blood sugar levels and help you create a personalized plan to manage your blood sugar and prevent complications.
And as always, thanks for tuning in to Zen Zone Health. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more informative health videos, and share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the knowledge and empower each other to live healthier, happier lives.